Back in 1927, I had a little farm, and I called that heaven when the price was up, the rain come down, I hauled my crops all into town, I got the money. Bought clothes and groceries, fared back, fed the kids, and raised me a family. Rain quit, and the wind got high, and a black old dust storm filled the sky. And I swapped my farm for a Ford machine, and I poured it full of this gas I leaned and started. Rocking and rolling out of the dust bowl and across the mountain and way over towards that old peach bowl, California. Way up yonder in the mountain road, I had a hot motor and a heavy load. And I was going pretty fast, it wasn't even stopping, just uh, bouncing up and down like popcorn popping. I had a breakdown. Sort of a nervous bus down there of some kind. It was a feller there, a mechanic feller. Charged me $13. Said it was in giant trouble. Yeah, way up yonder in a mountain road, way high up in a piney wood, and they give that rolling fort a shove, and I was gonna coast. Where is the could? Commence to coast it. Picking up speed. With a high pin turn. Didn't make it. Man alive, I'm telling you, the fiddles and the guitars really flew. That Ford took off like a flying squirrel and it flew halfway around the world. Scattered wives and children all over the side of that mountain. We got out to the west coast, broke, so dad gum hungry. I thought I'd croak and I bummed up a spud or two. My wife fixed up a tater stew. We poured the kids, beloved. It's a mighty thin stew, though. You could read a magazine right through it. I always have figured that if that stew had been just a little bit thinner, some of them there politicians could have seen through it.